In this video, I will be showing you how to use Chrome AI for architects. So this tool is basically an AI art generator. And here in the background, you can kind of see what it can do. So it can kind of generate the art for you. And if we go to AI tools here, you can see that one of their things is sketch rendering. So that's a really cool feature. Then they also have background diffusion, AI image generator, etc. Now what we are mainly going to use is the sketch rendering right here. And so in order to get started using Chrome AI, just head over to to Chrome AI Pro website and then here go to click on start creating for free and you don't need a credit card in order to get started and now here you can log in I don't have an account yet so I'll click sign up and now you can continue with Google or enter your details manually now here you need to choose your design scenario so interior design architecture design e-commerce design or games and anime I'll select architecture and then click on ok so now here you can kind of see some things that you can do so first you have the sketch rendering so if you have a sketch it will turn it into a realistic photo as you can see right there then you have the ai image generator creative fusion image variation which is also really cool and you can kind of see what each of these does so for example under image variation you will see generate images with similar styles layouts perspectives and sensory experiences they also have photo to sketch where you can upload a photo to convert into a line drawing effect and you have the AI headshot generator, but we are not really going to use that. We are mainly going to use the sketch rendering and perhaps also create a fusion and image variation. Now for this example, I'm going to upload a sketch right here. So for example, I will take this sketch right here and just use this as an example. So we are now going to Prom AI and then click sketch rendering and then click on start. Now here you can either sketch something inside of this tool. You can see what the community has kind of done. So you can also do a layout sketch right here but what you can also do is click on plus and then here you can actually upload your sketch so then if you click open you will now see this sketch here now you can still edit it if you want and then once you're done go and click on generate now once you're done with your sketch or you have simply uploaded it you will see this right here so you can select a style so you have realistic natural cinematic etc but this is mainly photography now i'll just keep this all to standard to show you what this can kind of do now you can also upload a reference image in mode you can select the kind of mode so you can do the outline you can go into depth right here or get the precision concept and i'll just click on generate and you can see this costs 0.3 of these prom ai coins and in the top right you can see you get 10 of them for free and now if you click generate it will generate three examples for us right here now you can see it's in the queue currently 58 and if you upgrade it will be quicker but you can see it's still very very fast so you can see what it has created now you can see some of these look kind of weird but you gotta remember that what we uploaded was this right here and this is a pretty difficult image this is probably some kind of a hill or something like that but that's not very clear in this sketch you can see still it has created some pretty good looking images right here now i'm going to upload one that is a little bit clearer such as this one right here this one cannot really go that wrong so i'll try this one and you want to make sure that your image is pretty clear because i understand why this one was pretty hard to do but still it has created some pretty good images for example this one right here looks really nice so i'll just upload another one to show you another example of what we can do so again i'll click on generate and now it works even better if you upload some kind of a reference image so you can see this is a perfect example of what this tool can do so remember this is the image that we uploaded a very basic sketch it doesn't look very good and now when we go to this tool you will now see that it has created some beautiful images so you can actually see the before and after here you can see this is absolutely amazing from this it has created this image with the grass the trees everything that is included right here it has recognized it and it now looks really good you can see it creates three different styles with different colors and materials materials and stuff like that. And you can see this is such a helpful tool to help you turn your sketches into actual images. Now here the slider is also really cool. You can see the before and after right here. So that's a great feature as well. So that is basically the sketch rendering tool. Now that's not everything it offers. You also have photo to sketch right here. And here I'll just show you an example of this as well. So I'll just find a popular building. So for example this building right here is the Chrysler building in New York. So I'll take this one as an example to turn into a sketch. 
So here just go and click on photo to sketch if you want that one and then just again click on the plus and then just upload your image and then it will do this for you as well when you click on generate. Now you also have the render mode and the design sketch. So under design sketch you can choose the type of sketch. So outline, pencil, blueprint, pencil, line art, fine line art or hand drawn line art. Now for example if I set this one to hand drawn line art then you can see that shows up but I'll just click on none and then it will create something itself. So again click generate and you can see we have now used 0.9 of our coins and you get 10 of them completely for free and this is 10 coins per month so that's a really nice free bonus so again this is the image we uploaded and right here you can see what it has created so these are some sketches now if we take this one for example and look at the before and after you can see it has done the exact sketch but for example with these clouds it does do those clouds as well so it's best if you just have a really simplified image of a building but still it has created a pretty cool sketch right here now one fun thing to do is to go and take this sketch right here and create a sketch rendering from this to see what it has created. So for example if we save this image right here and upload it in the sketch rendering you can see if it is similar to what it actually used to be. So this is the before image and this is the sketch. Then this is the sketch and now we are going to turn this sketch into a rendering again. Now it may look a little bit weird because these kind of looks like mountains right here but we'll see what it generates. Now you can see it actually does it pretty much perfectly. This is the before image right here. So then we turn this image into a sketch which we can see for example if I take this image this is the sketch it created and now we turn this back into a realistic image and you can see it right here and it basically looks like a, another version of this building again but it looks really nice. Now one last feature that I would like to show you is the following and that is the image variation right here. So I'll take the Chrysler building here again and upload it right here and then it will create a similar but different style building right here basically like in the same shape so then here you can add the variation so for example if you want to make it a different color then you can do that as well and you can choose how big of a variation it is so for example I'll set it to 70 and then click generate so now you can see if we open this up and then head over to the slider this is the before and then this is the after so it has created a similar but different building for example here at the bottom you can see it has these kind of blocks now those have been removed and it just looks a little bit different so it's really cool how it has created a similar but different type of building so i think this is an amazing tool if you are an architect for inspiration for creating renderings and also for creating this kind of image so you can see this is the sketch right here and then it just creates the interior design right here so that's really Really cool and I would 100% use it for kind of a floor plan for creating sketch renderings and turning your sketches into actual images so for example this one as well you can see the before and after and now you also have the AI image generator the creative fusion and the AI headshot generator now if you are an architect then you may also want to experiment with the AI image generator and the creative fusion so what a creative fusion basically does it blends the structural creativity of your sketch with artistic styles creating unique and breathtaking artworks so you can see this sketch right here along with this image right here was turned into this so you can basically combine two images to take for example the style of this thing and the sketch of this thing and then it combines them into one to create one fusion of these images so that's also a really cool thing to try out so now you know how to use prom ai for architects now if you're wondering how much this costs again you get 10 credits for free but if you want more of them you can always upgrade to one of these pro plans and you also get more features but for example for only $19 per month you get 500 coins per month which will be more than enough for most people. So now you know how to use pro AI. If this video was helpful please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said I will see you in the next video.